In this video I'm going to tell you about two Stacey Lash products that I've been using and I've been using them for a couple of months now with my clients so I've been able to see them come back and see the results of using these two products and I can tell you how they've made a difference in the lashing and the retention. You may already know that different glues work better at different humidities so your glue may like higher humidity or lower humidity. Your room may have higher or lower humidity. So depending on the humidity in your room depends on just how well your glue is going to work. Now if you have high humidity in your room you need to use a dehumidifier and that will draw out the humidity within the room and bring your humidity back down to say 50% as a mid type of level. There is different humidities for different adhesives. I'm just going to use 50% as an example today. Let's say you work in a low humidity environment and you need to add that humidity back into the room. That's where you'd use a humidifier. So you would be pushing that humid air back into the room and you'd be trying to get your room humidity back to whatever is the perfect amount of humidity for the adhesive that you are using. There is a product you can use by Stacey Lash and it's called the Booster. The Super Booster helps open lash cuticles it ensures better adhesion, it accelerates the glue curing process, it prevents lash fans from closing up and works with any adhesive. The booster is vegan, latex free, cruelty free and designed with a gentle formula so there's no harmful elements to the natural lashes. It also helps you reach the desired glue performance even in a dry environment. So with the booster you can still use your slower curing milder adhesive for sensitive eyes without compromising the speed of your work. So you are still able to use the sensitive eye glue but using the booster on the lash strips will mean that the glue will dry faster than the usual drying time. So that's fantastic. So once again if you're in a low humidity environment or it's too dry and your adhesive is taking a long time to dry and you've got stickies going on you can use the booster on your lash strip to help the adhesive dry faster and so you don't have to worry about getting a humidifier to add more humidity into the air. So if your adhesive says you need to be at 50% humidity and you're at 30% humidity and it says it normally takes two seconds to dry but it's taking four seconds because you are in a low humidity, if you use the booster on the strip you're then able to make the adhesive dry in the drying time that the product claims. To use the booster you unlock the top of the container by twisting it then you press the top down like a button and then that disperses the booster from the bottom of this container. You're going to dispense a drop onto your microfiber applicator and you're going to apply this along the base of your lash extensions on the strip. I also want to talk about the Extra Bonder by Stacey Lash. I used this on all of my clients after I had completed their lashes. I was really curious about whether this would help with retention and it did absolutely 100%. The Extra Bonder for lash extensions comes in the container which is similar to the Booster which is a nice press pump lockable container which has 15ml of the product within it. This product will give you strong retention. This makes the eyelash extension glue more flexible so it ensures that you've got more of a long wearing strong hold. This will help prevent shock polymerization so that's when the glue hasn't cured and you use some mist or they get water on their lashes and you see this, this blooming so it's like a white kind of look on the lashes um, and so that's a reaction where the adhesive is. So what this is doing is locking in the fumes and reducing the chances of allergic reactions. It speeds up the glue polymerization, you have no shock curing. The bonder is completely vegan, latex free and cruelty free. So the lash extension bonder can be used together with all of your lash extension supplies of your choice. And they claim it's better than using a lash nebulizer. I personally use a nano mister, I always have, but I've switched to the bonder, I stopped using the nano mister. No one opens their eyes and feels any fumes or any irritation. I've been really impressed with this product. 
So the Stacey Lash Bonder works in a way in which it will cure the lashes within only two minutes of the final glue polymerization. So what it's doing is it's instantly locking up the fumes within the glue. So this is how you'd use the extra bonder after you've finished applying all your lashes. You can pump out the amount that you want into the cap and then you can dip in your lint-free applicator or your micro swab or you could pump directly onto the lint-free applicator. Depending on whether you're using a micro swab or an applicator depends on how you'd want to do this. A micro swab would be too small to pump directly onto it whereas a lint-free applicator can absorb one drop quite well. Then you apply the product to the glue contact area, avoiding the bond leaking into the client's eyes. You also want to avoid contact with bare skin if you can. In this video, you'll see I'm using a nylon brush. I actually quite like the nylon brush because it splays out and it can get through and into the actual lash extension. So I don't actually use these all the time. But for this video, I just happened to have one on me and that's what I used. I think a lint-free applicator works fine and so does a micro swab, but I just thought I'd mention here that's what I'm using in this video then you wait for two minutes for the bonder to reach its full effect then you carefully remove the iPads and you let your client open their eyes so using the bonder can help lower the chances of eye irritation burning or itching which all can be caused by the lash adhesive fumes so once again the bonder is locking up the fumes of the cyanoacrylate and it prevents it from affecting your client's eyes I switched over to the Stacey Lash Evolution adhesive and then I also started using the bonder and in fact my clients have been coming back with way better retention than usual significantly better retention and I was super happy with that and then I started using it on everybody because it's like wow that's amazing I definitely recommend you try this bonder and you see the difference it makes thanks for watching my video today happy future lashing